Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another edition of Quick Hits. Um, Sunday's only one show a day. Sorry that we're late. We're going to do the fighter of the week. Um, The article is up on 3dboxingblog.com, but it's a good prospect that I like. But before we get into that, uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up button. Um, share quick hits comes at you twice a day, eight to ten minutes a day. Keep you up to date on all the latest boxing news, rumors, what have you. Um, we did two shows yesterday. We recapped the two shows yesterday. The one fight I want uh, to get into from the weekend that we haven't gotten into is our fighter of the week, Zach Parker. Um, phenomenal looking prospect at a Derbyshire in England. Um, he took a part. Devin, Al- uh, Devin Alexander, Vaughn Alexander in two rounds. Uh, Vaughn Alexander has been a tough, Dennis Douglas. Uh, um, Money Powell. He's been in with a lot of guys. He's never been stopped. He beat Money Powell. Um, he went distance with Dennis Douglas. Uh, the Golden Boy um, prospect, uh, whose name I can never get right. Uh, uh, yeah, help me out with that. Um, what is, uh, the bully, um, the guy with the name, I can't, I can't say he's been with him who knocks everybody out. Uh, you know, Vaughn Alexander has been in tough and he's never been stopped. Um, so this is, this is an impressive one. And the name I'm thinking of is, uh, Mel Kuziev, uh, Beck the bully is the name I was thinking of. He's been in with him. He's been with Anthony Jr. Vaughn Alexander has been in tough with a lot of people. Um, and he's never been stopped. He got stopped inside two rounds by Zach Parker. Uh, Zach Parker is a really, really, really good-looking prospect. Um, he's switches in between the uh, conventional and southpaw stances, uh, he, kind of seamlessly and smoothly. Smoothly, um, he says he doesn't even realize that he's doing it. He's just coming out. Conventional and then switch to the south point goes back to the conventional stance. Um, he, he has really good angles. He's got really good feet. He's obviously got some power. He's 20 and 0, 14 knockouts. Like I said, he took out Vaughn Alexander when, when no one else has. Um, and he's long and unconventional too, right? Like he's got good feet. He's got good pop. He's got angles. He can switch stances. And then he's really awkward. Like, there's something awkward about his style. Um, like I said, he's long. This, Especially when he goes to the southpaw stance. Um, like I said, he goes back and forth between two of them. This guy's good. Um, there's something to this guy. Now, uh, he is the number one ranked guy by the World Boxing Organization in the super middleweight division. So he's the number one ranked 168 pounder by the WBO. Obviously, the WBO belt will be on the line. Um... On May 8th in Dallas, shout out to Dallas, um, between Canelo and uh, current WO champ, Billy Joe Saunders. Um, so I, I guess, I suppose, Zach Parker would be in line to face the winner of that fight, although we know that the WO is not going to push Canelo's hand and make him take that fight. If Canelo wins, um, if Billy Joe wins, I imagine there'd be an immediate rematch. Billy Joe's not going to win. Um, so I, I don't think Zach Parker is going to get a rematch right away. He's gonna, I don't think Zach Parker is going to get his title shot right away. Um, so th- that puts him in a, in a situation, you know, you know, at the 168-pound division, there's some names I'd like to see him fight. But you don't want to take too big of a risk and lose your opportunity at that mandatory spot, you know, possibly lose that Canelo money. So you know, there are a couple of names, Gabe Rosado, John Ryder, I, I think are, are, are good names that he can fight. 
Um, you know, it's Anthony Durrell too much of a risk, probably. Um, uh, but there, there are good names there. Like I said, John Ryder, um, and, uh, Gabe Rosado are two names. I think he should be able to beat, um, and would also it give him rounds. They would push him. They would make him work. Um, but he should pass those tests, right? I, I think you know. Like I said they give him good work. Um, but he, they're not really. Anthony Drell is probably a step too far. I probably shouldn't have said that name. Uh, it's a former world champ. Uh, but the other two, Ryder and Gabriel Zada, I, I would look to make those fights. You know, because you don't want to put him in too easy and then throw him in with Canelo. Um. And you don't want to put him in, like I said, with Durrell, possibly lose. Um, and then you lose your chances at Canelo money. But he is number, ranked number one by the WBO. Um, he's a guy who, who's built his way up. He's not a fluke. Zach Parker isn't like a, just a European fighter. He's not just an English fighter. This guy's got all-world skill. He's got pop. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where he goes from here. Um, he, he's built up some wins. He's fought on the World Boxing Super Series card. Like, the guy's got some skills. Um, he's it, going to be tough to beat. It, it's interesting to see what beats he does with them and what Frank Warren does with them. Because they don't have a ton in their stable. And this guy looks to be the goods. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys watch it? If, if you can't watch it, I'm going to put a link in the description to the fight. I know it was hard to find because it wasn't on TV. And I'm going to put a link to the article from Pretty Boxing Blog, uh, the Fighter of the Week article, so that there's all of that in addition to all the other links that we typically put in. Uh, but Zach Parker is a name to keep an eye on. It's absolutely. I, I think he's already a top 10 guy in the division. Um, again, he's going to get a, He's 26, so he's still on his way up, but he's not green. Like I said, he's 20 fights, 14 and 0, 20 fights, 20 and 0, 14 knockouts. Um, and there's a lot to like about him. He, he's a, he's a multifaceted fighter. I'm going to put a link in the fight to so check that out. Let me know what you think. If you haven't got a chance to watch it, if you're in the UK, I'm sure you did watch it. Uh, but like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Please hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell icon to get notifications. Leave your comments below. Uh, it is March 28th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame. We need to make that change. Let's get the iron boy in, uh, from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.